So this is how you unclog the nozzle from your printhead for the Anycubic Cobra 2 Neo 3D printer. We're going to show you how to clear the nozzle clocks for your 3D printer. So some of the causes for nozzle clocks could be the filament quality. So make sure that you buy a filament from a reputable source. The other cause could be temperature inconsistencies. So temperature plays a big role in 3D printing. If the nozzle is too cool, the filament won't melt properly and will struggle to pass through, creating a clock. On the other hand, if it's too hot, it will experience heat creep. Heat. This is when the filament melts too early before it reaches the nozzle, gumming up the works. Now, of course, other causes could be nozzle alignment problems. So imagine trying to pour water through a hose that is bent or twisted, it just doesn't flow right. This same concept applies to your 3D printer nozzle. If the nozzle isn't aligned properly with the rest of your printer setup, it can cause all sorts of trouble resulting in a clock nozzle and even dust and dirt accumulation over time could cause the nozzle to be clogged so how do we clear a clock nozzle first and foremost we need to move the print head higher so that we can unclog it using a pin that's provided by the 3d printer manufacturer so let's do that so under settings we will move axis we will move the x-axis to the center alright next let's move the z-axis we we'll move it as high as possible we have um, this pin that is provided by the manufacturer so let's try to unclog the nozzle using the pin take caution that there could be leftover filament that is hot so just going to put it in So we have attempted to just push the pin through the nozzle. Next, what we're going to try doing is to retract back the filament. And in doing so, we want to remove the filament out from the pin head. So you can hear some knocking sound. I think the nozzle is really clogged. So I'm going to attempt to remove the filament again. It's uh, very difficult to pull it out. Let's remove that. Let's try to retract again. So the retract is done. Let's attempt to clear again the nozzle. Our, our pin can actually go all the way in so we're just going to clear it make sure it 
create a pathway so that the filament can flow through. Okay, do that a few more times. And there. So let's put in a new row of filament. going to remove the axis for the z axis further down and load in the filament into the pin head. Next, we're going to extrude. You can see that it is extruding and the new filament is extruded. So you have successfully unclogged your nozzle.